Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Anna Morfides with Many Hearts Counseling. And today's video is going to be all about how to break out of unhealthy patterns in any of your relationships. We're talking about romantic, we're talking about platonic, we're talking about professional ones, uh, between co-workers, between friends, between siblings, between family members. My focus usually is through the relationship that is a little bit more towards the romantic kind, only because most of the people that I work with come to me with these types of issues. Therefore, is what I, I practice and I have the most results in. And also within my own self, I felt due to my uh, core beliefs that I've had. So there's a variety of um, core beliefs that a person can acquire. So depending on what kind of core beliefs you acquire, that will also depict what kind of relationship it is that will bring you the most challenges. So for me, it was always the romantic kind. It was the relationship that I had with my partner that, or I should say, um, with the man, with the masculine energy. So that relationship would recapitulate what I was basically, or what I acquired as a child as far as my internal vibration went about who I was as a person when I was developing my attachment style. I became an insecure, attached individual that had a negative self-view. Therefore, as an adult, that would play out in my relationships. The same pattern would play out in my relationships over and over with the masculine energy, not necessarily with my friends, not necessarily with um, work. It wasn't, for me, it wasn't professionally or with my friends sort of challenging, but it was with the masculine energy because my core beliefs that I sort of, not sort of, fully resonated with and run my internal programming and created my vibrational field and that vibrational field was responsible for bringing in experiences that matched who I am because like attracts like were based on I am needy I am not good enough I am unlovable I am unwanted I am unworthy I am not good enough to be loved by others I am bound to be rejected I am bound to be abandoned I am bound to be alone these core beliefs, it turns out when I went back to, actually before I became a counselor, I just felt when I was approaching my 40s that I didn't want to live life like this anymore. I didn't want to live life being in a relationship with a man that would have the same pattern over and over where I would end up feeling unlovable, not good enough, um, unwanted, not cherished, um, taken for granted. I always found myself in situations like these for the last 40 years of my life and I wanted to end this pattern. So how do we end unhelpful patterns that we have in our relationships over and over again until we get the clarity and awareness to break free from them. So whether you are in an actual relationship, romantic one, or any kind of relationship, or wanting to be in a relationship with, um, with a supervisor, a manager, a friend, um, a lover, whatever it is, whether you are in an existing relationship or you wanna be in a relationship, the unhelpful core beliefs that run our system will depict how that relationship is going to go or what or how that relationship will be going in this moment. So this is inspired by a session that I had this morning. And this beautiful soul was sharing that every three to four months, um, her and her partner repeat the same pattern over and over. And this is exactly what was going on in my life. And this is exactly what goes on 
in most people's lives and relationships. Patterns play out over and over until one person has the awareness to change the pattern. And how do you change the pattern? You change your internal self. To change your outer reality, you change your internal sense of self. So that means you always have the power to change your reality because you're not depending on anyone else to do that for you. You are the only one that can change your internal world not somebody else. And when we wait for somebody else to do that, when I was waiting for someone to make me feel good enough, to make me feel worthy, to make me feel lovable, uh, to make me feel that I'm not going to be rejected, not going to be abandoned, not going to be alone. What do you think happened when I was waiting for someone to do that? Nothing happened. I didn't move because my vibrational field of my core beliefs was anchored in that specific state of being. So I would keep drawing in people and experiences that would keep mirroring back to me where I am until I got it that I have to change internally in order to change my outer reality. And Joe Dispenza always says this, you want to change your personal reality, change your personality. And how do you change your personality? You change your core beliefs. You change your self-concept. You can change your entire outer world by changing your inner world. And that's how you break the patterns. And of course, I hear this question all the time. But isn't it so unfair that I get to be the only one that does the work? Like, why doesn't my partner have to do the work? So what I've learned is, yes, that's going to be a normal thought that's going to run into everyone's mind. So if you're in a relationship and you keep thinking or being stuck in this idea of why isn't my partner doing the work, you're doing yourself a disservice because at the end of the day, when you do your work, you're helping you and those around you. That's how the law of attraction works. You become a catalyst then for other people to potentially do the same work or they will naturally fall out of your life. We don't know what it's gonna be, so when I was recapitulating my mother and how she was with me, super critical, never said I love you, um, didn't really invest much in me, didn't cherish me, right? So I, I, I grew up thinking, what is wrong with me? Why can anyone love me? And I was waiting to be rejected. I was waiting to be abandoned. So naturally, the partner, partners that I would draw in would have no other choice but to act out my vibrational field. So I witnessed, I witnessed, and I've lived this, the every time I would untwist, so through cognitive behavioral therapy, we can untwist these unhelpful core beliefs and we can create new neurosynapses within our nervous system that fire completely different signals like I am worthy, I am good enough, I am lovable through affirmations and meditation and through gratitude, which there is a free workshop that I'm going to link in my description box below that you can take to rewire yourself completely. As I was rewiring myself, I was able to break those patterns because I no longer emitted those core beliefs from deep from within me. So the more I started to love myself and the more I had gratitude for who I am and really started to see who I am, really started to understand boundaries, really cut out people from my life that were not serving me anymore. When I started to do that, my outer reality was also changing. And you better believe that the masculine energy would treat me a little bit better than treating me with all these unhelpful core beliefs. Slowly, 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 I started to feel wanted. I would still wait for the other shoe to drop, but at least I felt wanted and I felt that. So instead of not feeling wanted at all or not good enough to be loved, then I knew if I'm now feeling wanted, but if I find myself in a connection and I'm waiting for that shoe to drop, then or I'm waiting to be rejected, then I know that I need to work on my abandonment wound and my rejection wound that I've acquired as a child because my dad had um, left us and then my mom completely abandoned me emotionally. So then when I fix that, then guess what happens? Then I'm no longer abandoned or rejected and so on and so on. 
every time I would heal something within myself, that would reflect in my relationship with the masculine. And my biggest one to overcome was my anxious attachment style because that means that you have a negative self-view. So you are literally attaching to someone else. It's like a parasitic symbiotic relationship where I am attaching to someone else to make me feel good, but that will never work. So I also had to heal my anxious attachment style. And when I did the workshop with you guys this last this last July, it elevated my reality by a lot of notches. Like I can't even believe where I'm sitting at right now, to be quite honest, because um, I did create a bit of a vision board while we were doing the 21 um, Healing Anxious Attachment Style program through gratitude and um, self-love. There was an exercise that I needed, not needed, was of benefit to me to write out things that I wanted to manifest in my life. And two out of the six things have already manifested and it's only August. And I know that this stuff works because I am a true testament of it. I swear to you, I was someone that was experiencing these all the time with the masculine energy, completely not seen, completely not respected, uh, called names, um, not taken out, not care like like nothing there was nothing there was nothing it was like rock bottom so thankfully I had this epiphany and I started reading all the books like the power of now understanding where I am right now there's so much power in that this is where my core beliefs are okay great why is this happening to me why this why now well because I need to do the work I need to do the work to heal my attachment style, to heal my unhelpful core beliefs, so then I can become the untethered soul. So then when triggers are happening in my outside world, I know that there are catalysts for my growth and my own self-healing to become the best version of myself. And the best version of myself is going to be the one that will be able to get me out of these unhelpful, unhealthy repeat patterns that we find ourselves in due to our existing core beliefs. But if we change our core beliefs, we change our self-concept, we change our attachment style, then we are no longer writing in that vibrational field, right? Our personality is different. Therefore, by the law of attraction, just like the law of gravity, our personal reality will have to change. Everything is going to shift to match your new vibrational frequency. That's how you break out of the patterns and that's how you keep the love that you find. This book is amazing, amazing. They all talk about the same thing. Our romantic partners, mostly, but other people as well, it can be friendships, it could be your mother, it could be a sibling, it could be a coworker, are going to prickle your beautiful little soul for your growth and just see them as a catalyst and know that the only way to break the pattern is not to wait for them to change, not for wait, not to wait for them to treat you differently, do differently or this or that. You take how you are feeling and you change that about yourself. So if you are feeling like, oh shit, they're going to leave me, you have a rejection and abandonment wound right there waiting for you to heal. If you're thinking, um, now, I, now I forget how I used to think and feel because I've come so far. But say, okay, with a um, client today, uh, if they're feeling, yeah, not seen, where are you not seeing yourself? What parts of yourself are you not seeing? How are you contributing? We are all 50% contributors of every situation that we find ourselves in. So if you can change that, you can change your interaction with that same thing. So the power is in your hands. I did not give up and it may have taken me years, but I also didn't care if the other person did the work or did not do the work. And I did not attach myself to any outcome. I did not attach myself, oh, I'm going to do the work so so-and-so can love me, or no. I did the work purely for myself, and I was completely open to the universe to allow the person that it was meant 
to be for me, to come in for me that would match my my whole self, the one that the healed version of myself. So it could have been my existing partner, a new partner. I did not pick a face or anything. I created the room for that to come in. And I just had the knowing that at some point I will be matched. And then that's how it usually works. No attachment to a person and we don't do things for someone else because even if that other person does not rise to meet us, but many times they might because that's just how it works. Like we become catalysts or they naturally fall away or the relationship is completely transmuted into something else that is like more serving. You don't know. You just have to go with the flow and the path of least resistance. And to go with the flow and the path of least resistance while you're doing your work and you don't harpen on what the other person is doing because we don't have any power over that. You just focus on you. That's how you get there. And then you become not attached anymore to anyone else for your happiness, for your internal well-being. You're not attaching to anyone else. So... I hope this video made sense. I know I've put in a lot of information, but the basic point of this video is if you want to change unhealthy patterns that you find yourself in connections in, where you repeat the same thing and you end up having that same terrible feeling in your tummy of like, why are they not liking me? Or why am I feeling this way? Why is this happening to me again? change your personal reality in order sorry change your personality to change your personal reality i swear this is the only way out of all these books that i've read and out of all the teachers that i've listened to deepak chopra oprah winfrey um dolores cannon um wayne dyer uh louise hay uh, Anita Murjani, you name it, they all say the same thing. The power is always within us. We change who we are on the inside and then our reality will also change on the outside, but we're not attaching to other people's behaviors in order for us to have results. We're not attaching to how someone else is going to be in the meantime. No, we detach ourselves envision yourself in a cocoon of white protective light you are in your bubble and you do your work with the knowing that no matter what the outcome is it's going to be the best outcome possible ever because what else can happen if you're loving yourself and forgiving yourself and giving gratitude to yourself and being grateful for everything that you have in your life there is no other choice but to continue to live in those same feelings. And it's going to change eventually, whether it's the same person or somebody else or an existing job or another job, whatever it might be. No attachment. And you do it for you and not for the other person. And you certainly don't let the other person not doing the work stop you from doing the work because you're going to be receiving the benefits of that at the end of the day. And if you want to have children or already have children or that is something that you want to, to be a part of, which you don't necessarily have to, that's also a really big plus of doing the work because that's going to be passed on to them. And imagine that they're going to have way more or less unhelpful core beliefs than we did and it's just going to be way better besides you're just raising your own vibration so you just feel different i feel so much lighter i don't even care if i mean of course we all want love but at the end of the day if someone couldn't rise to meet me and like love me how i, I wanted to be loved and be cherished and be like be a priority be be a priority be it be my, be their first choice like put in the effort i needed to put myself in that situation, I needed to make myself a priority. I needed to cherish who I am, cherish my desires, cherish my wants, my needs, uh, and put in the time for myself. So freaking did the work. So I, I, I know that it can happen to anyone. So I really hope that you liked this video. If you liked anything about it, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, I'd love to hear from you. Any topics that you want me to talk about, anything that's challenging you, I'd love to hear it. I am here for you. And yeah, you can also hit that little notification button so you don't miss another video of mine. And yeah, I'm just so grateful. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.